Salesforce is a publicly traded company. Please make any purchasing or architecture decisions based on our generally available features and information, and not on any forward-looking statements that may be made during this presentation. This video brought to you by AppExchange Technical Enablement. Welcome to 100% source-driven package development, the third video in the 2GP Deep Dive Features and Use Cases series. These videos provide an in-depth look at the features and use cases for second-generation packaging. Now, the first feature we'll cover is part of the very nature of second-generation packaging. That's because 2GP operates on a model of 100% source-driven package development. Now, to better understand the value of this, it helps if we illustrate how things are done in 1GP, where there's an org-driven package development model. That means that a packaging org is at the heart of everything. It's a system of record for all of the metadata in your package, and it's the environment that determines dependencies when you create package versions. Now, package versions, or 04Ts for short, are created every time you upload your package from the setup UI in your packaging org. So if you ever need to fix a bug that's between versions that are already installed with customers, you're going to need a patch release. And for that, you'll need a patch org. And this is an entirely different org created from your packaging org, 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 right? Now, its sole purpose is building patch releases for a specific major and minor version number. And over the lifetime of an app, a partner might create and manage dozens of these orgs. Now, externalizing the metadata from a packaging org and storing it in a version control system could help you keep track of things. And to be clear, doing this is definitely a best practice. So if you're using 1GP right now and you're not already, already doing this, please, please do so as soon as possible. But look, make no mistake, throwing a VCS in the mix does not make this source-driven development. At best, it's a source-ish add-on to the highly org-centric development process that's been the Salesforce default for years. And that's why source-driven package development is so important. Because with 2GP, your version control system is at the heart of everything. Your developers use scratch orgs as runtime environments to build and test their customizations. But when everybody's done, they merge everything in the VCS as a precursor to building packages. Now, building packages requires an environment that's running the Salesforce CLI. This could be a laptop that's sitting on, on a developer's desk, or it could be a virtual machine in a cloud-based CI environment. Either way, the important thing is that it's authenticated to a developer hub, which in turn is associated with one or more namespace orgs. Now, collectively, you can think of these orgs as the accounting system for second generation packages. It's how you prove that you own a namespace, and it's how Salesforce keeps track of all the packages you create. Speaking of which, when it's time to actually build package versions, your CLI pulls the source it needs from your VCS and uploads it to the build infrastructure used by 2GP. And the result is is installable 04Ts, which just as your, you know, as far as your customers are concerned, they behave exactly like first gen packages would. And even patch builds are easy. Just specify a non-zero integer for the patch portion of the version number, like 1.0.1, .1, and you're done. It's using the same exact process as non-patch versions. So why is this better than 1GP? Now, I've just highlighted those key differences between 1GP and 2GP, and, I'm, and I've got them here uh, you know, on the slide, I'm, so I'm not going to repeat them. They're here in case you want to use this deck as a reference later. Instead, I want to talk through this feature from the point of view of each of our key stakeholders, developers, product owners, and DevOps. So for developers, 100% source-driven package development is better because source-driven development workflows are more intuitive than org-driven ones. Merge conflicts end up being much easier to handle because you get to use tools like Git and services like GitHub or Bitbucket, and you're using namespace scratch orgs, which offer lots of flexibility when exploring how your app might interact with new or different Salesforce features. Now, for product owners, source-driven package development has a severely reduced risk of surprise dependencies showing up in your package. 
Most longtime partners have at least one horror story where somebody accidentally turned a feature on in their packaging org and nobody caught it until a customer complained that they couldn't install your package. With 2GP, it's much easier to track intentional product changes over time because every change requires a change in source and changes in source are tracked by your version control system. And all of this increased flexibility and safety means faster time to market for new features that your team builds. Now, finally, for DevOps, source-driven package development is better because you've got 100% visibility into, what, into what's in each build because your version control system is the source of truth for your app. There's also robust support for package development workflows in the Salesforce CLI. And that means that 100% automation of your CI and CD pipelines is possible with 2GP. To learn more about the features and use cases of second generation packaging, check out all of the titles in this video series. You can also use the 2GP Deep Dive Trail Mix to find additional resources about second generation packaging. Finally, registered Salesforce partners can join the Managed Packages group in the partner community. It's the best place to ask questions and get up to date information about first and second generation managed packages. Don't forget to smash the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the great content by Salesforce developers.